All right, guys, so I have a question here, um, which is to do with calculating percentage yields. And I'm just going to work through it and um, kind of explain my reasoning as I go along. So this question says in the thermit reaction, I think thermit is like one of the words for thermite. There's like a different, a few different. Anyway, in the thermit reaction, um, 2Al, so um, plus Cl2O3 uh, produces 2Cl plus Al2O3. So um, basically, um, we're getting chromium. So the question is asking us, um, calculate the percentage yield when 180 grams of chromium are obtained from a reaction between 100 grams of aluminum or uh, aluminium. It, like, I, I don't know why I say al aluminum. I, that's what the Americans say. Anyway, uh, whatever. <laughs> Um, between 100 grams of uh, aluminum or alu any yeah I'll just say I'll just say aluminum because it feels even though I'm not American it just anyway <laughs> between 100 grams of aluminum and 400 grams of chromium oxide um, the first thing I'm gonna do here is work out the number of moles with this from these given masses um, work out the number of moles there um, so I'm gonna start with the um, uh, aluminum and the chromium oxide because uh, I wanna check if there's like a limiting, uh, well, we'll see that, I'll see if there's a limiting factor anyway when I work this out. Okay, so I have my trusty periodic table here. So let's see, aluminum, that's, um, it's uh, molar mass is 27. And by the way, obviously what I'm, um, doing here is I need to use the equation um, moles equals uh, mass mass over molar mass molar mass molar mass and um, so yeah as we saw the aluminum we have a molar mass of 27 and with uh what was it else what else have we got chromium oxide so chromium and oxygen chromium 52 and oxygen obviously 16 um so um chromium um 52 oxygen 16 and yet that's basically all the elements that we are dealing with um okay so the next thing we want to do is use this equation so uh let's work out the um aluminum first so that's going to be the mass over the molar mass so 100 grams divided by the molar mass which is um 27 wait why did i write mr there well al al mr anyway yeah so 100 grams over 27 grams per mole um and that gives us let me just get my calculator 100 divided by 27 uh, that is 3.7 yeah 3.70 oh, basically yeah 3.7 Oh, I'm not, uh, I don't, I'll put it over there anyway, just in case the, whatever the chromium one comes to. So 3.70 moles. And now for the uh, chromium one, um, we, let's see. So for this, we have to take into consideration that this, uh, this oxide, we have two uh, moles of chromium per molecule and uh, to three three moles of oxygen, so fifty two. We have to multiply the fifty two by two, and we have to add it to the sixteen multiplied by three. As you can see from there, and then that gives us um, fifty two times two plus sixteen. 
times 3. That gives us 152. Um, and now, so this is the molar mass of the, uh, let me change the color of my pen. This is the molar mass of the chromium uh, oxide. So now what we need to do is divide the 400 by this. So now 400 divided by 152. So this is the mass divided by the molar mass, grams, grams per mole. And that is equal to 400 divided by 152. That is 2.63. Okay, so that's 2.63. Now what we have is we have the um, moles of both of these. And now we need to take a look at the equation um, properly. Um, in, well, Anyway, we need to take a look at the equation in terms of the um, the ratios here. So, for every mole of this, um, for every mole of the chromium oxide, we need to have two moles of aluminum to react with it to for this reaction. And in terms of the chromium we have, we can see we've got 2.63 moles. Um, and if we were to multiply this by 2, this would be greater than so that times two would be greater than 3.7 so aluminum therefore is a limiting factor in this reaction which means we need to work out okay so with this amount of um, aluminum if we divide this by two that's the moles of chromium that's going to be involved in this reaction so what we need to do is divide this by 2. So 3.7 divided by 2, which gives us um, 1 point, I'm going to say that's 1.85, but let me just check. Yeah, 1.85. And that's the moles of chromium that's going to be involved in this reaction. 1.85 moles. So um, some of this is not going to be used. It's just, just this amount that's going to be involved in the reaction. So based on that now, let's work out how much, um, what mass of chromium would actually be produced if this was the, if the, when this happens so 180 grams was produced they say um, but what's the theoretical yield that's what we need to work out now and based on what we have here um, let's see the ratio between um, the aluminum and the chromium is the same so I'm gonna use whatever moles of uh, aluminum was which is 3.7 so that means, according to this uh, equation here, we should get 3.7 moles of chromium. So let's see, 3.7. So now the equation I'm using is just a rearrangement. So mass, uh, mass equals moles um, multiplied by molar mass. So, this is the mass we have. Well, no, this is, sorry, this is the moles. Uh, so what we need to do here is we multiply this by the molar mass of the chromium. And as we worked out here, it's 52. So 52 multiplied by 3.7 is equal to 52 times 3.7 that is equal to um, <coughs> that's equal to 192.4 now this is greater than the amount produced 
So either I I must have messed up somewhere. Calculate the percentage yield when 180 grams chromium obtained from the action. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, so I did not mess up here. Um, uh, the most produced is going to theoretically. Oh no, I know what I did. I just missed I I just got confused a little bit with the um moles and the the the, the actual yield and theoretical yield. So what this actually means is yeah, this is correct. This is the theoretical yield. Um I was thinking for a second basically that this was somehow meant to be less than the other one, but it isn't. It is it is this is right. 192 Point four grams and 180 grams so what we do not do now is we take the 192 and we divide so we do 180 divided by 192.4 and so this is the the actual yield and this here is the theoretical yield and that gives us the percentage yield so if we work this out that is equal to 90 well no this is equal to 0 0.9356 but well, that's basically 93.6 that is 93.6%. So that's the yield. So the theoretical yield is equal to 93.6%. Uh, yeah. 